deal with me. And uh, uh, through the good praise and worship songs, English songs, and the Malayalam, and uh, youth message, and uh, through the Sam reading, oh, I got challenging, very thrilling uh, messages. I thank God. Uh, what a faithful God that we are serving. Uh, He's keep on giving us that daily manna. Hallelujah. Daily manna. So we got today's uh, daily manna. And uh, I think that God is again giving us, you know, I think that's why I'm here. Hallelujah. Amen. You may even say, that is enough. Hey, God, uh, we cannot have more than that. Then, you know, I'm sorry, but God wants to make you enrich, more fatter in the presence of God, which is a spiritual muscles. You know, we build the muscles in a good body to live in this world, but in order to go into the heavenly place, we need to build our spiritual muscles. Then only we can resist the devil. So like I said, this is our GPS to heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we say amen? amen? This is our GPS. Yes, this is not uh, interpret the way the Maria is interpreting, or Indians, or Americans, or some other. No, this is for everyone. That's why Bible says, for God so loved the world, and that means everyone. Everyone. God so loved the world. The people discriminate based on the color, nationality, or the language, or the shape. But God didn't discriminate the people. Did he know? Hallelujah. That's why we can praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So for, for a short time of our uh, meditation and the, what the mess, uh, to go through the message, let's read Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. Till 8, 6 to 8. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Not only four days, I'll send the God. This is for the whole world. 
Like I said, John 3.16, God so loved the world, not only for these one chapter God, let me for the whole world. So, I will uh, quickly go through that, please come with me, and this is a message for everyone, for everyone, hallelujah, praise God. So, really, the, the prayer is a direct line and a fast to service to God. You know, many times when we make a phone calls, uh, main directory, push this one, or if you need a human source or the customer service, sometimes may be you know, really desperate, need, we are tired of pushing and pressing the numbers. But in order to access Almighty God, you don't have to you know, push here and there and get it and hold no. Almighty Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, then, hallelujah, the heaven is open for us. Hallelujah, we are serving such a great God. Always make sure, children, especially when we pray, we need to say, in the name of Jesus Christ. Not like that, in your name, no. In Jesus, that's where Jesus called us. Father God, we come to your presence. Through your son, our Savior Lord Jesus Christ, that God is waiting for it. For it, for it, what you want to do. We are serving such a great God. Hallelujah. Can you raise your hands and give thanks to the Lord? Praise God. He's a direct line to our Almighty God through the prayer. There is a power in the prayer. Hallelujah. When we pray, that means we can continually. Trust in the Lord. That means God gives answers. Hallelujah. Praise God. So the, the first of three things I mentioned that day, that Sunday, was this. Number one, power in the prayer of a righteous man. If we are a righteous, make sure we are righteous. Righteous. If we are righteous, there is power. That's how the Bible says in the, in the James. And you know how to how to pray? Confess of all our sins. Hallelujah. Forgive each other and reconcile with the car. Then you know the such there's a peace between peace between us. Hallelujah. Forgive each other. So that a good tune with Almighty God, good tune with everyone, and pray for the sick, and sick shall be healed. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a Bible promise. So, if a righteous man pray to God, that is working well. The effectual prayer of a righteous is working so good and so. That's the power of the righteous man's prayer. So, are we using that? Are we doing that? We have to use in our life. Be righteous and pray to God. And God is giving us the answer. I don't want to repeat everything because I have some other things, main things to tell you. Number two, power to be humble. If we are pompous, a somers, jealous, old man, or crazy sometimes, <laughs> just simply pray. Father God, I cannot control myself. Somehow, I feel crazy bad. Just Lord, give me your humbleness. Lord, I need a patience. That is the fruit of the Spirit. Father God. When you pray for your weakness, God will give us the holy power. That's the same thing we heard you. The youth message. Don't make it. Lay message that. Oh, I cannot be known that particular thing. You only have that. That's a you know devil's track. You have the power through the Jesus Christ. If any sin, if you are addicted with any sin, just confess. The Almighty God and God will give you the power that you will be victorious and the whole country will go into God and you will be a victorious over the devil. So, if you want to be humbled, praise God. There is a power of prayer. Hallelujah. And the three, I said, power to do the will of God. Can you read the first John 2 70? We already read about that. That's, I'm just highlighting that area because of. Uh, the, world and and its desires, the world and its desires pass away, but the man who does the will of God lives forever. Amen. Oh. What about the achievements 
that we are making in this world will perish. If you are going up to the movie stars and their style in our body and the dressing is a pattern, that your life will decay and decay and spoil because you are more morally the movie star. They are not going to church. They don't have a born again experience. They take the water baptism. They don't have a good husband wife relationship. Are you following those people? No. We are the children of God. That's what we have. We are supposed to serve Almighty God. Our role model is supposed to be Jesus Christ. Not some of the movie stars. They don't have a holy life. We are serving such a living holy, living God who redeemed us, who died on the cross, who shed all of them. She was well through. He has gone 39 million people on the back of his body. For what? For you and me. So our Lord was supposed to be Jesus Christ. He all paid all the price. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Number four. These are the three more things I want to highlight. Power to discern the present of time. Second Timothy chapter 3, 1 to 5. Just read some of the words. The first one or two, then the last verse 5. But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy. Verse five. Uh, verse five. Having a form of godliness but denying its power, have nothing to do with these. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. <coughs> this is the end time. There are twenty plus sins are written over there. <coughs> we need to have a checklist based on that. What are the things in my life based? What are these explained over there? If we are having any of that item. We will not inherit the kingdom of God. I'm not talking about any culture or Indian culture or American culture. I'm talking the Bible. Hallelujah. Nowadays, many people need the world and they need the godliness, but they don't want the power of God. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says. We are not imitating the spirituality or godliness. But there is a power in it. And when we pray to God, and God will give us the power. So, to know at what time we are living, this is a very drastic and painful time. The, the sin is creeping into the system. If we are not having the divine power, the Holy Spirit power, the worldly power will penetrate to the church. We are supposed to have the divine power and we need to go out and win the world. God gave us the, the divine power, the Holy Spirit power. So that way we can have a victorious Christian life. Plus we can win the worldly people to heaven. If we are, if we are not keeping a waiting for that, the world, the world will come inside and take over. That, this is what we want to do. Don't want to happen, happen that one. We need to touch it all so we will know the present situation of the world. The, the people say, why is a lot of crimes and problems happening in the community? When did the news? The reason is the, the world is so much in the, in the sin. The end times is so much closer. So what we have to do? Father God, I'm submitting myself. And my children, the whole church. So we wanted to resist the devil and we wanted to and capture and win the soul to the king of God who are working with us and who are in our neighbor and neighboring in the community. The lost people should come to Jesus Christ. So we will have the knowledge or the power to discern the present time. When we spend our time in prayer. Otherwise, you know what we will think? It's okay. Everybody is going. We are also going. It's okay. Why do you make it too much of a prayer? I don't know if people are preaching. Yes, God. Yes, they can. Don't take that. No, 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 no. 
The slowly, the wordiness, the same will come into our system. Slowly they will take over. We don't want to get that. So through the prayer, we will get the knowledge, the divine knowledge that this is a bad time. We have to work really hard to win the people to the kingdom of God. And that's two more points, then I will go back to my seat. Power to be holy so that escape from the traps of the devil. Luke chapter 21, 34 to 36, please. Luke chapter 21. Be careful or your heart will be weighed down with dissipation, drunkenness, and the anxieties of life. Mm -hmm. And that day will close in on you unexpectedly like a trap. For it will come upon all those who live on the face of the whole earth. Be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen. And that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Three problems are mentioned over there. Over there. What is a gluttony? That means too much, you know, we are alone. <laughs> fat foods and puppies, too much heat, so get more fat on the body, or it's very hard to burn out. So then we have to work with the calories and all the stuff. So more money to the doctor, so uh, the food, too much food can make a problem to the body. And another thing, the how do I live, how to make a good living? So, oh, unemployment, not that much money. So what about the, if I, uh, if something happened to my body next day, what will be my social security? You know, concerns and worries. I didn't get the parents this year. Oh, what kind of a boss? What kind of company people? You know, complainings and the moderations. And uh, you know, how much you have? I don't have that much. What kind of house you are living? You know what, complainings and ne oh, never ever happen. God wants us to be content because we are serving such a great God. Hallelujah. Sometimes I just talk to the people who are just talking like that. If they don't have enough money, they're, they're, they're making people complaining. You know what I say? Rather than I'm getting even the double time or triple time salary what I have right now. It is better that God is keeping me safe from big accidents or very terminally ill or disease. And our God is great and we are serving such a great God. Not the money is keeping us safe, but grace and God's power is keeping us safe. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So, in order to make a holy life and escape from the traps of the devil, Hallelujah! We need to pray to the God. Pray to God. Lord, make me holy. I humble myself. So through, through the prayer, we can be holy. We confess our, our faith. So by the way, we can be holy in the presence of God. Hallelujah. We claim the blood of Jesus Christ. We confess our faith. So by the way, we can be holy. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the last thing, power to take a right decision. Luke chapter 6, verse 4 and 13. That's the last point. Power to take the right decision. One, one of those days Jesus went out to a mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. When morning came, he called his disciples to him and chose twelve of them, whom he also designated apostles. Do you know what Jesus, he spent his night time in the Mount Goliath of uh, lonely places, even from others. What he was doing? He prayed to Almighty Father. If he had to do prayer with Almighty Father, how much more we need? Amen. Are you with me? Are you with me? After he spent the whole night with Almighty Father on the mountain top, then he came down in the morning and he selected his disciples, brothers and sisters. Young folks in the colleges and universities, when you take the decisions, do you need God's help? Do you need a parental help or the pastor's help? Or you decide the way you are? How just like your friends are they take a decision? Even Jesus Christ trusted and prayed to Almighty Father. Then how much more? We need to trust the Lord. That's why I'm frequently talking in my message. Even for you, when you take the major in your life, major subject, 
when you buy a house, when you move from one place to the next, when you take looking for a job or anything or even for the spouse for your future, just ask God, ask God, pray to God, let the God pray be the right direction according to His plan. Even Jesus had to do that. How much more we have to pray to God. Lord, not my plan, not my way. It is your way. Amen. Hallelujah. When we pray that, God will work out. God will work out. You know, I just some people say, how do we know the God's plan? I just use some examples. If that's a God's plan, in my life, all the runs, lights will be open up and we will get the green light. Parents will join with that. Pastors will join with that. All elders will be joining with that. All friends, everyone will join with that. God will join with that. So no one will be against that. If that is not God's, only you are with that. Parents won't be with that. Pastors won't be with that. Your friends won't be with that. But some of your friends may be with you. But the spiritual people may not be with you. Even God may not be with you. But in order to have the God's guidance, we need to trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. I have 10 more minutes. I will cut short before that time. Hallelujah. Well, uh, see, this is what I wanted to slowly tell you. We have to know the doctrine of the Christians. Many of our branches, they don't know. This is the last doctrine I'm just keep on talking last Sunday and this today. Pratane in Marina, a Ubadesam, Lamarada Yerikam. We need to know. Other Apostle Prati, Randa Majari, Mukatiatil, Matpati Randilunda. That is in Acts chapter 2, verse 38 and verse 32. These are the fundamental doctrines of the Christian or the Christian church or the church of God. We need to know that number one is the born again repentance experience. Number two, water baptism. Three, baptism of the Holy Spirit. And four, devoted to the apostolic teachings. And the next one, devoted to the fellowship, not the eating. Yes, sir. And worship, thank you, God. Hallelujah. And six, breaking of the bread. And the last one, prayer. We will claim, number of children, number of children, are you there? Number of children, are you there? Number of children, are you there? And we did church again. Parents are you there? You reference our parents. You are there. Number of children, are you there? Yang nak parents, nama kita bintil, nama kita guru orang ni, kuning orang ni cakap saja nak, kat tahu barang ni orang, barang itu tak ada dalam sini, ada ni ada, kalau ni ada orang jual sah, mula tahun baru es nine am to nine pm, nama kita spend di sini, turun tu orang tu dia, ni nama kita kalau ni lari kah, begini tu ni istimewa ni nama kita ni sama ni, let's bow our heads to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have few more minutes in front of us. I'm asking, or I just spoke in English, very my doctor for my time, because our children should understand. If God spoke to you this morning, and if you want to surrender, or somehow you are struggling with your some kind of issues or problems, you need a success, you need an answer from your matters and problems. If you want to rededicate your life, if any of you didn't, not at all receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you can do that today. If any one of you didn't take the water baptism and you want to take the decision, you can do that today. If you want to rededicate your life to for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you can rededicate your life. If you feel that you need to take a new decision and serve the Lord better than the past days, while all eyes are closed and all the heads are bowed, you can raise your hands and all the saints of uh, law, the ministers of the gospel will pray for you. Hallelujah. That's why I just reduced my time of preaching. 
That's why all the time we wanted to just give, give an opportunity for others to come to take a decision. Hallelujah. If anyone wants to take a new decision based on what you have today, you can submit your life while you're praying to God. Jesus, come into my life. I will serve you. Please forgive my sins. If you want to take a new decision like that, if you want to submit your life, any youngsters from the youth side, from girls or boys, if anyone, you can, while you are praying to God, you can raise your hands and we will pray for you. And that will be a new and great blessing in your life. They will play Pratani, Ari Lomani, and the last man come. If they can put you in the pocket of your pillar, they will be able to take the Pratani for the Tabu Kilabitina while you are shut to the order. We will practice you more, we will move in Kalana, one of the other. They will sit in the other and practice you more. Number of Pratana, get to the other. They are not going to give you. Now, who is the practice of Pogan? But it's not the other. You are going to have to get out of the other guy. They will be a spot on here. Yes, 